What is going on, guys? This is gonna be like a this is gonna be like a double whammy video, but I'm showcasing this uh, expert grill right here. This is a uh, pellet feed. I was gonna say Traeger, but it ain't a Traeger or a Pit Boss. This is expert grill. I wish I could get a Pit Boss, but I didn't get a Pit Boss. This is the deal I come up with, but um. This is what you run off of, the little pellets right there. And what I got in there today is some hickory. That's the inside, it ain't new. I just used it for the first time last week. So we're gonna get this warmed up and get ready to get that spatchcock chicken. Let me get this ready too. It's almost like Christmas y'all, or Thanksgiving, because all right, you see that? You see that Wi-Fi button right there blinking? That's because I want to be able to monitor this from inside the house, and I can control everything right here on my phone. So, while this preheating. Uh, I ain't said it yet. That's it. What you do, you press this, hold it, boom. Then you turn that knob, or you can do it from the phone, like I said. And we gonna set it to, forget it, 350. Yeah, yeah, about, yeah, I'm gonna do about 350. Press that one, oh, man. Press the button again. Set that temperature and that probe right there. I'm gonna push it on through and it's gonna, uh, you'll see when I bring it out here, but yeah. Let's go inside and get that spatchcock chicken. Okay, y'all. What we're gonna need for this spatchcock chicken? Eels. Look up a little thingy things. We'll get some black pepper, right? And got some El Cheapo Cajun seasoning. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, you can use whatever kind of seasoning that you like on your chicken. This happened to be what I'm gonna use. This chicken already got paprika in it. Or not chicken, but this season already got paprika in it. We're gonna put a little bit of smoked paprika on it. Mainly just for the color. All right, what you gonna need is a nice pair of kitchen shears. See these cans here? Turn to a knife and all that. You really ain't gotta have this kind. You get whatever kind you want. And the spatchcock, the reason is the spatchcock is when you spatchcock it it, it, it cooks more evenly and more faster. So what you want to do is you want to put the breast down, then you want to take the back end right here, or the front, whichever one, and you find that, that spine, and you want to cut it on the side. And the reason why this chicken looks, this color looks kind of sick, because it's been brained. Been See where that bone at? And you want to cut this little tail thingy thing off too, the little rabbit tail. <laughs> tail is chicken with half rabbit. You can use a knife, but I recommend you get you some good kitchen shears to do this. It's a whole lot easier and faster. 
and you got yourself this here. You can take it and you can go and uh, boil this, make you some stock and all that stuff. But what I'm gonna do right quick is I'm gonna rinse this out right quick. Got bone fragments and other stuff. Okay, a lot of people tell you don't rinse your chicken off. Why? Because when you rinse this chicken off, it let like particles splatter everywhere and you can get salmonella all over your kitchen. As you get through cooking your nice clean chicken all cooked up, then you have paws and all over your handles and everywhere. But I just do a light stream of water. All right. And while I was over there, I cut some excess fat off too. What you gonna do here? Right up here, there's a part you can cut. Right off up in there, and you can cut this bone, or you can do the CPR way, which is flip it back over, flatten it out like so, and you, you do like CPR, and you go, you, I don't think you heard it pop, but see it don't do it no more, it's been popped already, I just popped it. Which it'll, it'll break this bone right up in here. It popped, but no, look like it's broke. I don't think it's broke. Let me see something, y'all. No, it ain't broke. Here we go. I heard something pop, though. All right, there we go. All right, look at that. Boom, boom. That laid open. Filet. No fat. Season this up on this side just a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. That's on this inside part. Then I'm gonna flip it over, make sure it's dry. Then I'm gonna put some avocado oil on it. Then I'm gonna put more Cajun season, pepper, and paprika on it. Just you know, you'll see it. You'll see it come back. Ta da! All right, y'all. And this is how I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna put this whole thing on the grill. That's the reason I'm doing it like this. You don't learn something now. You are gonna learn something. You can go get a wire rack like this, which is a drying rack. You can get this whole little setup probably for ten dollars at a Ollie's or somewhere. But I'm putting it here because the presentation side, which is this side, I don't want to touch it and mess it up. And I ain't gotta touch it. And then when I go take it off the grill. I just take this whole thing off and put it in my pan. See what I'm saying? So, that's the reason I done it like that. And it looked like a lot of seasoning on it, but it ain't. It's a lot, but it ain't. You need to put that on there like that. I'm going to do something else, just specialty. This is for some of them peoples. And, and it's going to give you an idea. Let me get to it. Alright. Another cheapo. Lemon pepper seasoning. And y'all, like I said, the reason it looked the color it looked, because I brand it. And I will get into that during the holidays, because I brand everything that's like this. I like branding it. And there's some special stuff you can do with branding. And uh, I'm going to show y'all a chicken sandwich on branding. But this is not going to dry out. It's going to be very hard for me to dry this out because I brand it. I mean, you got some of you experts out there that'll be like all you gotta do is this and do it that you do that but i brand this and it's gonna do its little thug thizzle so you just hang in there let me go see if this uh grill and got up the temp all right y'all while we at this since i'm cooking uh a whole chicken and uh i made some dressing so it's gonna be like a holiday meal right so might as well go ahead and put that ham on there. Yeah. Got them sliced. Put the sticks through it. So when I put that glaze on it, the glaze go all the way through and all the smoke go all the way through. And we got this tin on it. 
with that tin on it right there, he cooked real good. Of course, y'all, the temperature dropped because I opened it. But here what we got. Call and start that probe in there. Put in the thick part of the bridge, like so, like that. Boom. And can you see that temperature dropping right there? That one there, that's the inside of that turkey. Not turkey, see I'm still stuck on it. That chicken. See how it's dropping? We want an internal temp. I'm going for like 165 ish, 8 ish, somewhere around there. Cause it's gonna continue to cook and get off, but I like to be ready. You know, I don't like to, I don't like, I don't like no trouble. So I'm trying to watch this go to a certain point. It'll let me know if I got the probe in too deep or not enough. See, if it was too hot, that means I would have the probe in too far back. And you know, you ain't supposed to touch no bones either now. But 60 is about right, I guess, because um, it's been sitting out on the counter while I was prepping it and everything. It was, it should have been like at uh, 40 something. But as I ran water over and all that, so we're gonna let this cook. It is now currently 14. We'll be back with it. Hickory. All right, y'all. An hour later, gonna put this glaze on here. By the way, uh, 30 minutes into the cook, I turned the grill down to 310. I wanted to slow go. Let some of this get down in these bowls. Mop that on like that. Now I put it heavenly on the middle. So when I stick it back in that fire, it'll melt down. Run down the sides like uh, cake icing. Get some more back here. Oh, there you go. Open up for me, baby. Yeah, open up. I'm gonna remove that tent for a minute. Back in here for about five of them. Nah, about three minutes. Ah. Check on my pellets and see what we have. Okay. It's saying we had 166, y'all, a degree over. I was in there chilling. So, uh, I'm gonna do a spot check. What I mean by that, I'm gonna use this, just to check different spots. Make sure you don't have any cold spots. Touch no bones. 172 180 wait 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 181 and hold it get this brace over in here okay that's the hot side of the cold side of the grill So it's saying 150 on that side, y'all. So I'm gonna switch my probe over and turn this uh, chicken around. Okay, as y'all can see, my probe temperature is dropping at 156. When I put the probe in the other side of the brisk, uh, cause I guess this side of the grill is the hot side, and that side is the cold side. As of like, I can't explain it, but it's at 259 right now and it's set to 310. I'm gonna bump it up to 350. Put it back on 350 right there. 
okay we set at 350 and it's gonna heat on up it's at 262 right now but it's gonna heat up to 350 and that'll that'll knock it on up because it's pretty much done I just gotta put a little char on it and get it done okay y'all for GP I let it get up a little bit over 165 but we're gonna cut it cut it and let's get to the meats That chicken, my friend, is done completely. Bring a little. Food pro. Okay, now can y'all see the magic of the rack? Alright. Let's see what I'm doing here. Huh? Which is nothing. Y'all, I'm gonna take this in and let it rest for about. Ah, come on, man. I'm gonna let it rest for about uh, 10 minutes. Let all the juices get back right. And if you don't understand what I'm saying about rest, what I mean about resting is I'm gonna let it just sit on the counter and just let it, just let it rest. That's all I can say. See that bird pretty? Has no nothing that I ain't telling you about. Look at that. My Cherokee red. But look at that. And as you can see where I'm stuck at it, I'm gonna try something here. Watch this. That's juice coming out of there, y'all. Perfection, I believe. That is a spatchcock chicken, y'all. You could do this also with turkey. Okay, bud, you done had enough rest. It's your time to shine. Let's see you. Oh man, this, oh man, broke a leg. I'm so tender. I don't know when. Let's see. I take that old drum right there, though. Let's see him. That is hot and juicy. Get another hit off of it. There it is, y'all. Thanksgiving holiday in the middle of June.